Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on shitty kitchen gadgets that don't work? Vivian calls the BS. With Vivian Tries, you just sit back and enjoy, just like being in your kitchen with a good old friend. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Okay, so let's try some of these microwave products. First, we'll do the Dollar Tree. They all say do not microwave for more than three minutes. You remember the bacon one? Here's the thing about this thing. Here's the thing about this thing. I don't know why you would need this for any amount of money. Can't you just wash your potato, poke some holes in it, and then put it in the microwave? Does this help it? Does this make it cook faster? Why would you really need this, right? If you have some ideas, let me know in the comments. What if you have a giant potato? I don't know that it would fit in here. See, I just don't understand. This is stupid. This is stupid. Even for a dollar, it's kind of stupid. Why would you need this? Unless it speeds it up. Now, if it's going to cut half of the microwave time, then it's totally worth a dollar. Now, it doesn't tell me how long to cook it for. It does give me the three minute warning. So I did put it in for three minutes. We'll check it at that point to see how much more time we should put it in for. It was a little potato. It should not take that long. Okay, it's ready for me. All right. Three minutes in the microwave. <laughs> That's hot. There it is. Okay. Why am I grabbing it with my hands? Oops. I need to cut it. Do you think it's ready? This is the only potato I have. It's ready. Look. Perfect. It worked. How long do you cook your potatoes in the microwave for? That was fast. Do you think this little bowl really helped it? Or do you think... Three minutes is just plenty of time to cook a potato that big. I'm not sure. I'm going to say it worked. Maybe you do need one of these little plastic cups to help you cook your potato faster in the microwave. I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. Now, let's sharpen the knife. So first, I'm going to start off with this tomato, which is kind of looking yuck. And we're going to see how sharp the knife is to begin with, which... I'm not gonna be surprised if it's kind of sharp because I could not find a dull knife, but we'll see. Okay, look, it is kind of dull, but it did cut through it. So, well, we're still gonna try it. For the instructions, it said to take the sharpener, place it on a flat surface, like so, and back and forth seven to eight times. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, Seven, eight, nine. Oh, I did nine. Okay, let me look. Mm, let me go wash it. It has like shavings on it. That wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. I mean, it looks pretty simple, but that, you gotta have some muscles to do that. And I don't even know if it really sharpened it. We're about to find out. Let's test it again. Here we go, ready? Boom. Okay, it worked. One little slice and it went right through that soft tomato. So guess what? For a dollar, come on, it works. You have to have some muscle, but it definitely works. I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. It works and it's a dollar. Can't beat that. Next, we'll try the ground beef with this. Now, someone please in the comments just tell me what this is used for because I really don't understand the idea of just putting the ground beef in here and just pressing it down just to get the circle. Is that it? Tell me in the comments. I'm not really sure, but we'll shape it. I mean, I guess I can test that much. I mean, for a dollar, it's gotta work, right? Okay. Am I supposed to be pressing it with my hands or is, is that what this is for? I don't know, but I wanna just help it to kind of even out. Or maybe, is this to make stuffed burgers? I don't know. One of you guys, please. You love to give me tips. Here's the day I'm asking for tips. There it is. Now, I guess you just like squish it, like press it. Today is the day you guys can chime in in the comments and tell me what the hell this thing is for because I have no idea. Press it with your hands. That's what we did growing up. Okay, that's it. Let's see. I'm gonna try to take it out of here what it looks like okay now it won't come out you did it oh wait it's coming out oh hey it looks like the one you get at the grocery store it's perfect okay oh maybe you need this press so that they're all uniform and when you're cooking them they're all the same and they all cook at the same time maybe 
pretty cool. Look at it. I'm going to say this will work because there's not really anything else to test with it. I kind of get it. If I'm wrong, remember in the comments, let me know what else you do with this thing. I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. So far, two out of two, pretty good. Again, if I needed to do something else with this, let me know in the comments. But what we did get out of it, I think it's worth a dollar. I think it works, but I think it needs to do. <laughs> We're gonna start with the cake mix so that we can bake the cake while we test the other items. I've already sprayed the silicone mold with a little bit of nonstick. Uh, not a little bit, that's a lot of it. I put a lot, okay? So we're gonna fill this up and put it in the oven. I don't know if this one's gonna work, you guys, because this thing looks so flimsy. Like it's not like really thick silicone or anything. So, okay, I don't wanna overfill it. Cause I know in my last video, you guys were like, you overfilled it. What about that? Pretty good, right? Oh no, but that's a lot. Shit, I'm gonna take some out. <laughs> I don't know that that helped any, but oh well. Okay, I think that's good, right? Now I have here a cookie sheet where I will place this guy. Okay, here it is. Looks good, pretty easy. Let's bake this thing and see what happens. I'm seriously afraid I'm gonna find a melted silicone cake pan from Dollar Tree in my oven when I open it up. We're gonna find out together. How about that? Looking pretty good. If this thing beats out that silicone snake bake thing, mm, mm, mm. Do you see my little trash can back there? That's where we're throwing away the Dollar Tree junk. We find a product that's junk, that's where it's going. Watch part one of the Vivian Tries Dollar Tree Kitchen Gadgets to see if any of those products landed in the trash can. Cake is ready. Let's take it out. Look at this thing. It's perfect. It did not completely melt. <laughs> it cost me a dollar and it's made a perfect little cake and I can already tell that it's not sticking to the sides. Oh my God. The real test is when I flip this guy over, but I'm gonna let it sit here for like a second just for it to cool down. One second and then I'm gonna flip it over, to flip it over, to flip it over to see if it just comes right out of there or if it's gonna stick. That fake snake should be ashamed of itself. Okay, one minute, let's flip it over. Grab it, the counter. Look at this, guys, guys, seriously. If you have not watched the silicone cake mold, bake snake, I think is what I called it. Go watch that video and then go to the Dollar Tree and buy this thing because I think it's, maybe, I'm not gonna say that yet, let me make sure. Look at this, get out of here. Look at this perfect, Cake. Look at that perfectly cooked, did not stick at all. This thing cost me one dollar. I've said Dollar Tree 47 times in this video. Oh my God. Do not buy silicone molds anywhere else. I mean, that's dramatic, but this is worth a dollar, okay? Perfectly cooked, non-stick. So impressed, guys. So impressed. It's perfection. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Poached egg, looks pretty. Why is this so nasty? What do we expect, right? Dollar Tree, wasn't expecting much, but I at least expect it to be clean. I guess none of the gadgets that I get are clean. We're gonna do three poached eggs in here. First, poached eggs, we're gonna do three. One in there, whoa, fit just right. Two. Fitting in there very nicely. Three, voila. Two eggs, we're gonna just whip them up. Okay. We have a complete breakfast, folks. Do you think this is gonna work? I'm gonna start putting these in the microwave and I will slowly take them out so that we can see together. First one in the microwave is the omelet. I've put it in there for 30 seconds. The omelet one says, it just says no longer than three minutes. I'll do one minute. So I did 30 seconds, I'll do another 30 seconds. I don't think 30 seconds is enough for some eggs. I don't remember how much time the stone wave took or the egg-tastic, remember that? I went ahead and put it for another 30 seconds. So I did one minute, 30 seconds in the microwave for the omelet, just because I didn't think one minute would be enough. <laughs> so one minute, 30 seconds. Let's see what this omelet. It didn't melt, 
The plastic is not melted. That's a good thing. Hey, it's already worth a dollar, right? If this actually cooked this omelet, seriously, one dollar, Dollar Tree, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Son of a gun, it cooked them. All other egg gadgets, you should be ashamed of yourself. Dollar Tree omelet cooker is a beautiful thing. They're not beautiful, but totally works. Up next is going to be the poached egg. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do one minute, 30 seconds in the microwave to see if this works. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm only gonna do one minute. Poached eggs, I don't want them to be overcooked, right? And I'm afraid they're gonna spill over. There's nothing over the top of that thing. So I'm gonna do one minute and we'll find out what happens. If I've gotta put it in for longer, we will. There's no instructions. I guess for a dollar, they're like, figure it out. You have to pay an extra dollar for instructions. Listen to me, the girl who doesn't read instructions. But I'm just saying, a little sign so that we know how many minutes to put that thing in the microwave. You guys, I had to put it in for another like 15 seconds. So one minute, 15 seconds. Okay, never mind. I put it in for another 30 seconds. They're not quite there yet. One minute, 15 seconds is not enough <laughs> for the three eggs. It was a little too runny for me. And if you've heard my runny egg story, you know I can't deal. Oh, okay, I gotta stop it now. I think one minute, 20 seconds would have been perfect. I think I went a little overboard with one minute and 30 seconds. No, it's only 10 seconds, but it makes a difference. Per Perfection. Look at that. Look at them. They are perfect. The little plastic is not like warping or anything. This one looks like that because I, I went a little overboard. I'm going to say two out of three worked perfectly. Ready? One, two, three. Bam! <laughs> is it non-stick? It looks like it's stuck. I dropped it. <laughs> I want to turn one of these guys over to see what it looks like. Don't you guys want to see that? I'm going to flip it over. Let's see how perfect it is on the other side. And also, we'll know if it's non-stick. There it is. It's also non-stick. Look how perfect that little thing is. Perfection. One dollar. Hell yes. Breakfast. Let's look at this one. See? Non-stick. So I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. Yeah, you get two of these things for one dollar. Non-stick and it does its job beautifully. I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. It's non-stick and it does its job beautifully for one dollar. Nail art. That's right, no more having to paint your nails. Now you just put a sticker on and voila, nails are done. I hope this works because how convenient would this be? Come on Dollar Tree, don't fail me on this one. So it brings the tips or brings the full nail. So what you have to do is put the actual little sticker on your nail, then you're gonna need a file and you're gonna file around it to take off the access. And I'm just going to see which one fits my pointer finger. Some people might have fatter fingers than others. This one here should fit my pointer finger. Got it. Like that. Can you see it? Smooth it on. <laughs> I might want to read the instructions, right? <laughs> it's like wallpaper for your nails. Okay, there's one. It's not flat. It's kind of wrinkled up on me. Ooh, wait a second. It's not a professional manicure, but if you want to have that wallpaper look on your nails, like show up to a party with this nail. People are going to be like, girl, how much did you pay for that artwork? Wait a minute. If you took your time, this wouldn't look half bad. Now you can't let people get close up to you. If they want to see it, they have to like stand that far away and be like, oh girl, yes, look at them. Then people are going to go, she's so weird. You know, kiss it. Fuckers, I bought these at the dollar store. Don't get all up and start judging me. <laughs> That's what I would say. I'm gonna do the rest of this hand and then we'll compare them like this. Let's do the rest of them. I want my hands to look so good and sexy with this wallpaper on them. Number two. Okay, file it down. Then you can just take it off. Two nails down. They look like stickers on your fingers, but 
We'll do the tip on this one just to see what it looks like. Here are my natural nails and here are my fancy dollar store sticker nails. Like I said, don't let anybody get all up close on you from a distance. You're gonna go, girl, look at my nails. Do you love them or what? What do you think? Before and after. If you get them wet on vacation and they start peeling off, that's not a cute look. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and test them for you so that you're not embarrassed on the beach in Cancun because your sticker nails are peeling off. I'm gonna dip them in water and I'm gonna take them out to see what happens. Ready? One, two, three, go. Okay, that's good. They're out. Let me see. They still feel nice. They don't feel like they're coming off. So you're gonna get 10 of the full size and then 10 of the French tips, which means you're gonna get two little manicures out of this. You could put them on for a party or vacation. Who gives a shit what people think, right? Fuck it, put it on. Okay, <laughs> let's see how beautiful we're gonna get with uh, our new Cardi B nails. Now we just need to bejewel them because she always has them bejeweled. How did she go to the restroom with those nails? That's what I wanna know. For Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm Cardi B. For Wait a second. These are not half bad, you guys. Listen, it's not a manicure, but if these look half decent, do not buy them. I'm not giving you any idea. Oh, what the? F <laughs> I thought it was going to be a dropper. You're saving money on the manicure and super quick. See, you don't have to be at the salon for fucking three hours. Don't you hate that? It's like, where are you? I'm still sitting here getting... I was gonna say pumped, but it's not pumped. You don't get pumped there. <laughs> I mean, you might. Who knows what kind of salon you're going to. I was gonna say you're getting blown, but that's not the right word either. <laughs> blown like nails, like that. Which somebody told me you shouldn't do that anyway. You shouldn't blow your nails or his nails. Don't blow anybody, how about that? That's just the real thumb. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on my nail. I know somebody's saying this in my comments. Vivian, it's not gonna work. You have gel nails on. Well, duh, but I'm not gonna take them off. This is a surprise gift. I'm trying to put it directly onto my gel nail. That way, when I tear these mofos, way <laughs> Cardi B, watch out, oh God. <laughs> I know, it looks cheap, okay? And there, the tip is like cracked a little bit. <laughs> We're just gonna file that shit down, but it's gonna look good. Oh, it already set in everything, girl. You just brush this in there. Bam, bam, bam. This is pretty good glue. It glued right on there. I'm gonna put double. That way it stays real good. Like that. Yes, sir. Then you're gonna grab the nail and then put it right in place like that. See? Oh, I'm a nail technician. Vivian Salons. That sounds French too. <laughs> Let some of these gifts be shit. Somebody's gonna get scratched up like Bow Wow. <laughs> Don't be scratching up your man. You're going to jail. You don't wanna go to jail. See, if your boyfriend's smart, he would say, babe, I got them for you in all different colors. That way you can switch out your manicure every single week on a budget. Oh, I love it, and they're red. He really thought this gift through. <laughs> Still not gonna judge, cause no, not for no dollar nails. You think they're gonna be able to tell that your shit's fake? It's a fake manicure. Ooh, I love that pinky one. You look dangerous. What do you think? Hey, Vivian. I need to file these because I'm cutting myself, but what'd you get for Valentine's? <laughs> Did they give me extras? Did I get, oh, you get 12 nails. He splurged on you girls. Oh, don't tell him you got 12 because then he's going to be like, see, I know what I'm doing. No, sir. It's not a go yet. <laughs> Chich is not on the menu yet. You gotta know how to ask for these gifts. Cause guys don't know. They just buy you whatever the fuck they think. And if it's on a budget, and if they saw it on Vivian tries, we're like, oh, well, Vivian thought it was a good gift. I would never tell your boyfriends to get these things. But did y'all see little Bow Wow's face? She fucked him. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I'm just saying, that's not funny. Don't be hitting people. Don't be scratching people's face. <laughs> you know his ass is a celebrity. You know they're gonna put that shit on the news. Scratching people's face? What's wrong with you? Manicure is done. I am now a nail model. Would it be taggy if I have my own salon if I am my own nail model? And the owner, and the trainer, and the inspector, and everything? Is that wrong? My own client? I do my own. <laughs> I don't have any clients, it's just me. <laughs> that, that's, yeah, that's not a business. That's just your house. <laughs> like if you have a daughter and she wants to play with nails, but you don't want her to 
fuck up her own nails. You buy her these, these are cute. I mean, not these because these are hooker nails. <laughs> you don't want your daughter to have, <laughs> I promise you don't. You don't want your daughter to have hooker nails. These are for your freaky ass wife. She's trying to be freaky and scratch you up. <laughs> Let's move on <laughs> because I'm, yeah. The quick whisk mini. The Dollar Tree never carried fancy gadgets like this. They always carried stupid plastic things that would break after one time of use. When I saw this, I was like, mm-hmm. I see y'all stepping up y'all's game, bringing in like quirky little gadgets like this whisk. Okay, we've had a bad start for the day. Ooh, cute. It is stainless steel. So what you're supposed to do is just push this down. <gasps> Do y'all see it? This is one dollar! How exciting! So you can use it to make omelets, scramble your eggs, make smoothies. I don't know about smoothies, but whatever. You can make cakes for one dollar. This is really nice, you guys. It's made really, I am so fucking impressed, okay. Now I'm, I'm getting excited again. This hair disaster kind of had me thrown off, but I'm back on that Dollar Tree bandwagon. <laughs> this thing is pretty cool, it better work. I can't handle two back-to-back -back disasters. It has like a little knob down here at the bottom. I think that's how you kind of balance it. I know that's how you balance it. So we're just gonna put it in and then go to town. <laughs> Ready, one, two, three, go. Five seconds. This is a nice little workout for your arm. For one dollar, I'll take it. I'll take three. Mom, you want one? You get one. <laughs> I got a little excited and I was beating it too hard. And my eggs. <laughs> so yeah, be careful. Don't don't beat your eggs to death. My eggs are gonna be so fluffy. Look at that. Fluffy ass eggs. I wonder if I can hold it and do it. Yeah. I broke it. <laughs> Gentle. I am the roughest mofo on the internet. Mom, I'm gonna have to buy you another Tupperware. You gave me this one the other week. Or you can give it to me and let me borrow it. I'm gonna have to buy you some more Tupperware because <laughs> I broke, I broke this one, sorry about it. It was just an accident. <laughs> sorry about it, I owe you some Tupperware. <laughs> just be careful, cause this little knob probably is gonna bust things. So be careful. <laughs> I can't stop. Cause it feels nice to go like this. Do you feel like you're not doing anything, but you're beating the hell out of these eggs, that's what you're doing. My eggs are gonna be so fluffy. <laughs> A bottle strap. For your kids so they can carry their own fucking bottles this is so cute not even just for kids for adults too sometimes you're walking around like at a flea market or something garage selling and you need your water bottle because that's hard work at the mall birthday parties bring your own water bottle this is like a purse your kids are going to be able to carry their own shit all you do is remove this stupid straw make sure your lid is on for your water tight so you don't spill it. You're just gonna put this in. Oh, look at that. Yes, and then you can adjust it here. Oh no, we were gonna do a crossbody. <laughs> it's gonna be a, I love it. Oh, Dollar Tree hasn't let me 100% down my hair. Y'all gonna pay for my hair stylist. Look at this. <laughs> you thirsty? Yeah. It's a crossbody, and you can adjust it if it's too long for your kids so it's not dragging on the floor. Clip it on like that. Ta-da! See, like a purse. If your husband doesn't want to carry it like a purse or a crossbody, he could just put it around his neck like this. <gasps> Do you love it? Let's go garage selling. I love that. See, when you're walking around, Hot day, like I'm thirsty. 
and it's gonna work look mm-hmm put the lid back on bam let it go keep walking and then to take it off you just bam easy peasy on a cruise <laughs> on my next cruise I'm gonna have so many fucking gadgets people are gonna be jealous raise your hand in the comments if you would use it don't lie you're gonna get a boyfriend if you use this one probably not but you might <laughs> <laughs> Activated charcoal toothpaste. This is so trendy. These are like seven or eight bucks at Walmart. Freshens breath, fights plaque, free from sulfates and artificial dyes. It smells really nice. I'm gonna wet my toothbrush. Do you wet your toothbrush before you put your toothpaste on it? I have to. It's just part of my routine. Toothpaste on top. I would normally use more than this. A lot of you guys tell me that that might even be too much. If you've never seen one of these charcoal, trendy ass toothpaste that are everywhere now, they turn your mouth black and they ruin your toothbrush. Just FYI. Look, hey, it tastes nice. Do my teeth look at you? You see what it does to your toothbrush? My mouth is actually feeling really nice, refreshed, and very clean right now. So I'm actually really impressed. And I'm really picky with toothpaste. So if you haven't tried one of those expensive charcoal toothpaste and you wanna try this, I would say for a dollar, hell yeah, try it. Now, the whitening claim, I don't know about that. My teeth look kind of I don't know how long it takes to whiten, but it does say whitening toothpaste on here. The dollar store, awesome. That about a thousand people told me about when we did the video for this guy, the crease police. That was a total fail for us. Everybody in the comments mentioned this thing. Everybody on my Facebook page mentioned this thing. People on Instagram mentioned this thing. It was everywhere. I was so surprised that everybody in the mama was telling me about this one dollar, dollar tree stain degreaser, stain remover. This thing does everything. When I bought it, I also noticed that it says, as seen on television, ha, bonus. Some of you guys told me that it's too strong to use like this, just straight out of the bottle, that I should add water to it. Some of you guys told me to just use it straight out of the bottle. So for today, I'm just going to use it just like this because that's what I did for this guy. Spray on, wipe off. It removes blood stains, grease, wine, liquor, gum. This thing is better than goo off, I think. Oil. We're going to do that test again. Glue coffee, pet stains, fresh paint, hair dye, food stains, grape juice, berry juice. It says it has no acid, no bleach, no ammonia. And you guys said that's what I was smelling in there when I said it smelled like hair dye. And it also says non-flammable. What is in here? Food coloring, all purpose, concentrated cleaner, degreaser, spot remover. This thing claims to be the magic degreaser. But I think this might be the magic potion that we've been looking for and at the right price. For one dollar, this thing is ten bucks. For one dollar all day every day and just for kicks, how many ounces? You're getting 20 ounces in here. I think this one you're getting 32. For one dollar, I'll take the 20 ounces. So what we're going to do is retest everything that failed with this guy with our new dollar store magic potion. First, we're going to start with the famous oil test. In the Grease Police video, you guys said I had too much oil. I think I have a little bit less now. A few of you guys gave me some ideas and tips on why it wasn't working. Some of you guys said it needs to be warm water underneath. Some of you guys said it's actually vinegar, not water. I don't know. But to be fair, to compare it to this guy, all I did was put less oil, but it's still motor oil on water. That's it. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the grease police video, a droplet full in there. And we'll go ahead and put some grease police just to be fair, because we do have less oil, but we're going to start with this guy because this is the star of the show. Let's see how it smells. It's not that bad. It smells like pine saw. Does it smell like pine saw? Let me see. Some of you guys said it was really strong. It's not that strong. Let's grab that much. Ready? One, two, three, go. 
it almost worked. It kind of worked. Not really, but <laughs> what do you guys see? It kind of gave me a little opening there. It did more than this guy. Let's go ahead and try Grease Police just in case it was an oil defect. Same amount. Okay, that one moved a little bit of that oil, but look at the bottom. This one here, the awesome cup looks a little, it's yellow, obviously this is yellow, but it looks foggy. It's not as clear. Now this one is completely clear. Now to this beauty. The Grease Police says that it will work usually on contact, but you should wait two to three minutes for really tough jobs. This one, I don't see anywhere on here that it says that you should wait. So it should work on contact. We'll try it both ways. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh. Okay. Let me smell it. It's not strong. Who said this was strong? Let's see, let's wipe. That was pretty immediate. <gasps> Are you, okay guys, you can't see it, but. <laughs> okay, look, I'm, I'm focusing on this little area up here. You see the rag? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it and I'm gonna sit it to the side for a few minutes just to let it soak in really good. So here's the before. Now let's spray. I'm excited, this shit might actually work. Now, our tile test. Remember, in the infomercial, the grease monkey, <laughs> that's the show. <laughs> Remember, in the infomercial, Grease Police said it will take off paint, just like this. So this one is completely dry. Now, you will notice some scratches that was from our prior video. So here's the before, let's be fair. Just so everybody can see the same thing I'm saying. Here's the before, okay, now, Let's spray it because I'm hearing this thing will strip paint. It's that good. Okay, ready? A few minutes, then we'll wipe. So a few minutes have passed. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, not, not much. You guys, you told me. <laughs> Should I do it with a dry paper towel? Because some of you guys said don't use a wet rag. Use a dry towel. So let's do that. Let's spray it again and try it with a dry paper towel. So just a regular paper towel. Okay, again, kind of the same result. With the nail, it's coming off. There went my manicure. But just wiping it, mm, it's performing the same. We're gonna spray it and then leave it and then move on to the next thing. We'll come back to it. Okay, we'll leave it right there. Check back in a few minutes. So back to this guy. It's already been about four to five minutes that it's been sitting there and it's actually now <laughs> dry. I hope it still works. Let's wipe it with my wet towel to see what happens. Okay, you guys, there is the before, ready? I know everybody told me this was amazing, but why am I not getting the same results that you guys are? It is coming off, it's just gonna take a minute. It's not as fast, but I can definitely see, and you guys, you can't see it, but up here, for sure, let's spray some more. I wonder if I spray it like this. <laughs> Guys, you told me. I know that nothing's instant, but I thought it'd work a little faster than this thing. Let's try it with a dry towel. Here. Okay, it's definitely working better than this thing. It's still not going super fast, but definitely doing something. You're not gonna, <laughs> the infomercial for this made it seem like you just go like this, gone, but no, I don't think so. 
slowly but surely I am seeing the beautiful clean surface of this thing but it's gonna take a minute what I'm gonna say is you're gonna have to soak this and put tons of this in the water and just let it soak in there because allowing it to dry by letting it sit there I don't think it's gonna work as fast as letting it soak in some water maybe okay I'm actually excited now because I do see results up here. So it is working, you guys. Nothing is gonna be instant, okay? I might even dunk this in my little tank, fish tank, to see if I can get it clean. It's been a few minutes. Let's check this stuff. Oh! It's coming off for sure. <gasps> Wiping it not scraping it wiping it you guys look <laughs> okay this is doing what this promised <gasps> look guys look at it do you see it do you see <gasps> look it took it right off oh it's working <laughs> oh my god i have my beautiful marble tiles back <laughs> yes wow. Look, it is definitely taking it off. Okay, but wait, now it's spreading all over. Nice. Okay, it's gonna strip paint, folks. So it's gotta take that grease off that, right? <laughs> yes. Looky, looky. <laughs> Ooh, you should be embarrassed, okay? Knock that price down. I know some people are gonna say, they're performing the same. No, not really, you guys. Let's try it with a dry towel, see what happens. Where I had it sprayed, it has cleaned the tile. Pretty impressive, right? I mean, look at the rag. The rag is filthy from the paint that we just took off. What do you think? I'm gonna say this one has totally impressed me. Let's move on to the next one. Before I do though, I'm gonna spray a little bit more and try to see if I can get that towel back to its original state. Now our favorite seasoned masterpiece, which a lot of you guys said I should return your cookie sheet because you have one that looks just like it. We're about to see if this shit is gonna work on here. So please take a look, inspect the masterpiece. We're about to spray it and clean this mug. Okay. I don't smell anything, but I don't want it to sneak up on me. <laughs> you know that smell? It's been on for just a few seconds. Now, let's wipe. Oh! That's nasty. That's all the seasoning. That's all the flavor. <laughs> okay. What do you guys think so far? Something happened, right? Pretty good for it just being a couple of seconds. Okay. Now let's try it with just this semi-dry paper towel. Okay. A few seconds. All right, you guys. Do you see the paper towel? I think it works better with a wet rag. What do you use when you're wiping things like this down? A wet rag or a dry rag? I like the wet. I feel like the wet helps it. Okay. What do you think? Let's do this. Spray it, set it to the side, and give it a few minutes just to see what happens. We got a lot of stuff pending. Let's go back to our tile. I can't with the paint. Oh my gosh. Look at this, like chunks of paint come off this thing. Listen, Bulbhead, you'd be smart to invest in this company or buy it or something, or I'm gonna buy it. They don't need us, right? They're making tons of money because their shit works. Let's see, oh my God, look at this. So I decided while I wait for this guy to soak in a little bit more, we're gonna go ahead and leave it the full 10 minutes. I decided to keep wiping this guy with some of this. And uh, do you see a difference? 
I see a huge difference. I mean, I still got a long way to go, but it's definitely happening. It's definitely happening right there. You see it? It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Let's go back to the cookie sheet. During the 10 minutes that I allowed this to sit, I was reading and it said you should add a little bit of water in different scenarios. So I decided just to sprinkle a little bit of water over the top. That's why it looks kind of liquidy like, like that. Do you guys see it? You can't see it yet. <laughs> I'm seeing a difference and I'm seeing it from the top. Let's, oh my God, this is so disgusting. <laughs> okay, listen, I don't think there's anything on the market that's just gonna be like a wipe and it's gone, but I definitely see more results with this $1 item than I did with this. After even 20 minutes that I let some things sit with the grease police. Are you guys ready? Here's the after. <laughs> Progress, right? Guys, you have to look at the tile. <laughs> Pretty freaking good, right? It is back. I took the damn paint off of this thing and this was super fast. Now this is years, years and years and layers and layers of seasoning. Same with this thing. <laughs> this is so gross. This is gonna take a minute to get through all the layers. Now this one only took a few minutes and a little bit of rubbing to get the spray paint off, which listen, if you have paint or anything like that on surfaces like tile, you're gonna love this stuff because it's gonna take it off for $1. My fish tank is back and my little mouse is gone. Really quick for everyone who's wondering, this was the home of my little mouse that I purchased for my last video, which was the owl alert. If you haven't watched that video, you should go watch it. Now I had to return that little guy to the pet store. I did want to keep it, but she kept jumping. <laughs> <laughs> she kept trying to escape you guys. First thing I asked the lady at the pet store when I purchased her was, does she jump? And she said, oh no, they don't really jump. So I'm like, cool, I had her in here without anything covering the top of this. And when I walked in my studio after filming, <laughs> I wish I would have captured it on video, you guys. She literally jumped about that high from here. Then I caught her climbing on the little, oh my gosh, it was the most adorable thing, but I would have fainted if she would have jumped out of here. So I thought, you know what? Instead of giving myself a heart attack, let's just go ahead and return her and she will get adopted by a happy family that doesn't mind if she escapes and runs around the house. Could you imagine if Jedi ended up playing with her? <laughs> I wasn't even gonna go there. So we're back to using this as a prop instead of a house for my mouse. So what I did in the grease police video was fill my fish tank and then just directly pour some of the solution in there and dip our grill. So that's what I'm gonna do once again. I was even thinking of dipping this guy in there for a little while. We should do that first, huh? Is that gonna mess up my test? I don't think so. Ooh, a little on this side. Is that too much? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, it's working. Look at that potion. So I'm gonna start by putting this in there for a few minutes. Then we'll try rubbing it real good. See if I can get the rest of this off. Put it in. Okay, come on now. I need you to get in there. Should have taken the lid off. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, it sucked it all up. So I'm gonna let that sit in there for, let's say five minutes, and then we'll rub it like a genie in a bottle. Then make a wish. Okay, about five minutes have now passed. Let's try to wipe it. I'm gonna wipe it while it's in there, right? Okay, let's now get our rag and wipe. Here's the before, the coming off. I mean, it's still, <laughs> you guys hyped it up too much because I wanted shit to be like clean, but it's not, you're still gonna have to scrub. 
I mean, I know this is a lot of buildup, but <laughs> I thought it was gonna work a lot faster than it is. Listen, it's still better than the Grease Police and for a better price point, but it's not, it's gonna take some time for sure. Tell me in the comments what you think. Are you impressed? Was I being hyped up too much about this thing? I'm not totally disappointed, but uh, I feel there's a little bit of hype around it. I don't know what I expected. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe my expectations were just a little too high for this thing. Maybe. Now let's try the grill. So here's the nastiness and this is disgusting. Now in the grease police, this was the one thing that I was kind of like, Ooh, it's doing something because as soon as I put it in the water, I could see it kind of breaking up. So fingers crossed, we get the same result and more happens, I guess. Okay, ready? I think I did this. We'll check on it in a few minutes. I can't see if anything's happening. I have to stand it up. I'm gonna stand it up right there so I can see it. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to see because this is yellow and it's kind of fogging up the water. This was clear so I could see right through it and I could see things moving. So let me see if I can get a better shot of this. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's take it out of here to see what the hell happened. I don't know if you guys noticed, but there's like these little white floaty things in there. I don't know if that's from the solution or it's from the grill thing but it's so foggy I can barely see in there does that mean it's working <laughs> I don't know but we're about to find out now I did do this ready oh <gasps> wait there's chunks already missing and I haven't even rubbed on it yet <laughs> Okay, wait a second, you guys. Okay, I haven't even wiped it down yet and there is pieces already gone. Look, do you see right here, right here, right here, right here, right here? Already clean. Let's wipe a little bit. Okay, this one, the results are gonna be good, I think. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> okay. Pretty good for five minutes later. Oh, my fish tank. <laughs> Look at it. Imagine if I left it in there for 20 minutes. It would be clean. That is disgusting. Now, I don't think there's anything on the market that's going to be instant but for one dollar i do believe this thing outperformed the grease police you can't beat the one dollar price mark sorry about it you can't with pretty decent results i'm not gonna say i'm blown away maybe i was just hyped up too much maybe too many people swore by this thing it works well it's not a miracle potion like i thought but for one dollar hell yeah all day did you see what it did to my tile that's pretty impressive so i'm gonna say yes to this no to this so with all that said i'm gonna give the awesome product four vivian heads all right you guys so that is it for another vivian tries i hope that you have enjoyed this video if you have Give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool dollar store product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.